So what are some of the practice that you would put in place to continue to see through the blinders that's been put on? And especially in the area of health as well, what are some of the things that beyond the normal physical stuff that we would do to look after health, like eat healthily and stuff, what are some of the lesser known information or practice that you put in to integrate, I guess, our talk today? Well, breathing, actually breathing and a lot of breathing in the Western world, especially because we mimic each other, is very shallow and we don't use the full aspects of our ability to breathe. So conscious breathing, that also brings us to being more present and in our body. And if we're more present and aware of our body, there's inherently more energy flow in our body. And I know that breath comes up all over the place with meditation and spirituality. And it's so easy to be like, ah, oh, it's just breath. There it is again, I already know that. But breath is one of those concepts that continues to go deeper and continues to expand, especially with the awareness that where focus goes, energy flows. So with your breath, if you breathe into different parts of your body, you're bringing more flow and more current into it and therefore releasing stagnation. And stagnation often looks like stored trauma and stored memories. And so breath is huge. Uh, another one is Bro, simply- so on, on the breathing, um, apart from, okay, let's just use our diaphragm and take more oxygen in and there's more oxygen coming in. When you say conscious breathing, what else does it do to us? Yeah, so conscious breathing is bringing more and more and more and more awareness to the experience of the breath. So when we're, you're saying breathing with your diaphragm, also feeling the diaphragm and not just feeling the diaphragm, but feeling the edges that that, instead of calling it just oxygen or air, if you think about it as divinity or this essence, this light essence, a life force, if you consider it life force, feeling the places the life force is touching. That's more of what I mean with conscious breathing. And even in the chest, when it comes in, feeling where it is in the lungs and it takes practice and it becomes more expansive every time you bring awareness to it. We prefer to say kind of like we are light being, we're just charging with more energy, more light. That is a great way to conceptualize it, to make it easier to do. Absolutely. And when you and say like breathing into different body parts or organs, like those may need more energy, more light and more love. And so to shine more light and love into those areas as well. Yeah. Also embodiment. If you take this concept of divine embodiment, and that would mean to, we have an ethereal self that not just the physical self, an ethereal self, and to get that ethereal self into the container that is the body. So to embody divinity, breathing into different spaces is helping the process of bringing this divine essence into the container that is the body. Wow, nice. Any other? health hacks the natural world but i think one of the biggest tools we have is our awareness what we can bring our attention to and also resting that sometimes so the natural world one thing is going outside in a place that has dirt or grass a mountain something of that nature a forest even super beautiful and walk barefoot and one thing to really notice is how uncomfortable that can be because those nerves, our feet are very similar to our hands. There's so much nervous system capacity to experience down there, but we use these insulated rubber shoes our whole lives. And those nerves and sometimes don't develop and in some ways atrophy. So noticing that we're out there like, oh, that hurts. But one thing that I've done, I personally love it. It's some people might call it pain. I just call it communication. I love putting my feet into really cold water and experiencing those nerves. Like it does hurt, but I know it's because those nerves to them, feeling is so foreign that it's painful. And so grounding is one way to call it is grounding. So getting that going. Also trees go and so uh, our two primary energy centers to connect with a tree is the third eye and the heart center put them both on a tree and then 
do conscious breathing on those spaces. And in that space, maybe it'll be the first time you ever do it. Maybe it'll take practice. You'll start to notice that the tree and your system will start to develop a together cycle, an energetic flow. And that tree, it loves your trauma and your egoic stuff. It's just like, oh man, let me let me take that out of you and clean it up. Here's some here's some grounding energy. Here's some earth energy. Here's some some freshness and some stillness. Let's let's get things moving with that. And th those are the big ones. The natural world loves you. Absolutely loves you. The natural world and our mission are the exact same. It's to evolve the planet. It's to evolve our consciousness. So it's on your team getting out there, exposing yourself.